Bapak Hotman Raja Panjaitan So ladies and gentlemen It is now the time for us to hear the remarks by the Minister of Environment and Forestry and also followed by closing the Indonesia Pavilion COP21 Paris To the view Thank you dear uh, Honorable Paramat Witular uh, Special Envoy for President of Climate Change uh, Honorable Pasar Wono Sumat Maja, our chairman for steering committee of the Council on Climate Change, Pahot Maraja, our Indonesian ambassador in Paris, uh, distinguished guests, our Indonesian lovers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to address this closing to, of the Indonesian pavilion. I'm very pleased to observe that the pavilion has been successful in attaining what it aims to. I believe it has been able to communicate to the global climate change community. Indonesia's determination to contribute global climate solution, both in the mitigation as well as adaptation aspect. Various climate policies and actions have been shared in this room, especially with delegates from other countries and institutions. I congratulate the organizer of the pavilion 
as well as all the sessions for having, having been able to bring together such a rich combination of policy makers, experts, academicians, business people, communities, journalists. Among them are highly eminent persons such as former President of Indonesia, Dr. Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, the Member of Parliament of the Republic Indonesia, Excellencies Australian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Julie Bishop, New Zealand Minister of uh, UNEP of Foreign Affairs, former United States Vice President, Excellencies Al Gore, UNEP Executive Director Ahim Steiner, and Earth Institute Director Professor Jeff Lissas, member of the Interna Interfaith Dialogue International, Professor Dr. Din Samsudin, and of course, we have been visited here in this pavilion also by the Indonesian President, His Excellency, Mr. Joko Widodo. It is also encouraging to see a wide range of stakeholders involved in the pavilion seminars, either from the government, private sectors, universities, NGOs, and the last session this morning uh, from the youth. I see it most useful to have all their participation in this pavilion. Besides, supporting the negotiators and learning firsthand from the international climate change stakeholders towards implementation or further actions, especially as we expect to go home with a new climate agreement. Indeed, it seems this pavilion is among of the busiest pavilion, seeing the rolling schedule out there, as it is mentioned by uh, Dr. Agus Yustianto, we covered 47 seminars that have been continuously taking place here in this setting. It is actually our President Joko Widodo uh, mandated to me that we should bring all together the stakeholders, the community, journalists, uh, business communities, and many others who, who who are supposed to be in this building together see and smell what is happening and what to bring to Indonesia and what to be developed later on that we can do some concrete things later on in our country and of course in the architecture of the networking of integration of the atmosphere. This should all the best design and preparation and the hard work of many uh, parties, of many uh, members of teams, etc. Again, that under that circumstances, I would like to extend sincere appreciation to all who have been involved. The organizers, uh, chaired by Dr. Agustin Dianto, the event organizer, Ibu Amanda, Ibu Titi, Ibu Rosa, and all of the team, the supporting institution, panelists, as well as participants. Your hard work has fruited in satisfaction. I also thank deeply to Ambassador Dr. Hotma Raja and his staff, the, lo the whole staff in this embassy, Indonesian embassy in Paris for their support fully to our activities here in this pavilion. Congratulations. Upon that note, I should like to declare the Indonesian pavilion at the UNFCCC COP21 officially closed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ibu. Siti Nurbaya Bakar. Ladies and gentlemen, we have not finished yet. We still have several agenda before the last. So ladies and gentlemen, as you may know that in the back 